As voters flock to the polls for municipal elections, candidates for this year's primary election coming up in August are preparing. As News 13's Erica Orsted tells us, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, many of those candidates are using a new way to collect petition signatures to get on the ballot. Ahead of the 2020 primary election in August, local candidates are using the internet to help them get on the ballot. This is one, one way the state is allowing candidates to, to complete the process. Collecting ballot petition signatures through an online form on the heels of an emergency order signed by Florida's Secretary of State, Laurel Lee. The state has allowed the electronic format of an image of their signature and a completed petition will be valid. Typically, candidates get petition signatures by going door to door or through large crowds. But during the pandemic, neither of those are recommended options. If a candidate doesn't get enough signatures, they must pay a filing fee out of their campaign account to qualify. We were going to just pay the filing fees, what we were going to do. But then the state changed the rules and allowed us to do it this way. Bay District Superintendent Bill Husfeld says the new method has its ups and downs. It's been very helpful. As long as it works, it's fine. Sometimes the server will lock up somewhere. Bay County Commissioner Griff Griffith says he's doing the best he can. I will go until the very last day and if if I don't have them by then obviously I will write a check to requalify for my seat but I hope to have the signatures done by then. The petition deadline is May 11th then the supervisor of elections office will verify all of the signatures. In Bay County, Erica Orstad, News 13, Panhandle Strong.